My name is Dr. Moore and I am on faculty at the University of Texas at Dallas. This quick video walks you through what is happening as of right now with Turnitin's new AI detection tool. So what I did is imagine that I was a student in a crunch. I took one of my standard essays assignment prompts that I give out to students, which is not to write an essay, but to write a memo comparing AI writers. So I took that, logged into ChatGPT, and I did a simple version of the prompt. It, you know, there's details missing from my longer assignment, but I asked it to write a memo comparing three AI writers, told it to include some sources. Um, you'll see it generated a memo for me. Took that memo, and because I'm uploading to turn it in, I'll plug that into a Microsoft Word document and saved it and exited it. I uh, intern it in. Um, we have the option as faculty. I did some sample uploads here, and you will see that the memo that I just uploaded there for my sample on AI writers is right there. Um, that is straight that memo being uploaded. You'll see it gave me a similarity score of 45%. So let's open it up and see what happened. Now, that 45% score is not actually the score for the AI. The 45% score there is the traditional match. You will see Turnitin didn't flag anything as really problematic. Instead, it tells me that you know, there's about a 45% match in this document to things that have already been uploaded. And what was actually uploaded? Well, the sources. Um, as a grader, often if I see that, I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. The sources are real then, which is good news. And the other things that it flagged were little phrases. What's new and different and what I want to draw your attention to is down here in the corner where it says AI 100%. A little message pops up saying caution, percentage may not indicate academic misconduct review required. When I click on that, you will see it correctly flagged as 100% AI written, the essay I just copied and pasted from ChatGPT. Curiously, the sources, it did not flag, um, but it did flag those on the other Turnitin report. So what does this mean for you? For faculty, this seems to be working, and um, I really appreciate Turnitin has also given us new strategies that we might want to use or think about how we can change up our rubrics, change up our assignments. For students, beware. Uh, this tool seems like it's going to catch things that Turnitin has not been catching for the past couple of months with the use of ChatGPT. Uh, this is considered, at least at our university, an unauthorized means of completing the assignment and it can be found as an incidence of cheating if it was reported. Um, so do your best. Uh, remember, often your writing is the best anyways. If you were to zoom in or pause and look at that essay that it wrote, it's not good. Uh, I'm pretty confident pretty much all of my students could write something a whole lot better, a whole lot more interesting, include a conclusion, um, and do just generally a better job at writing for business. I hope this video was helpful. Um, good luck.